Hello, it's me James and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition video. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing all three little hint clips that Minecraft has released so we can actually see which one of these three mobs is actually the best. So, um, of course, last time I did a video a couple days ago, there was only one hint video that had been revealed and that was actually for the Moo Bloom, which I kept getting the name wrong as well. However, now we have all three clips and in today's video we're going to be watching those and I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on these three mobs and telling you which one inevitably is the best one and should get your vote. Again, if you haven't already, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button. All the social media is in the description below. Again, leave me a comment in the comment section which one are you voting for. I want to know um, where you're going because to be honest with you, I haven't watched both of these clips right now. Um, I've only watched the Moo Bloom one, so now I'm actually going to watch the other two clips for the first time, so I, I'm i still undecided to be fair. I'm thinking Squid, however, like I said, at the end of the video, I may have changed my mind, um, but yeah, let's, let's get on with the video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually play the clips in order, so first, of course, we're going to go with the Moo Bloom. Bees and Moo Blooms are friends, just like we are. Right, Agnes? These friendly cows live in the flower forest biome, yellow as sunshine and covered in beautiful flowers. What's not to like about these beautiful bovines? We are friends, right, Agnes? If you want the Moo Bloom to be added to Minecraft, vote for it during the Minecraft Live live stream. Can I join your Minecraft realm after we finish recording this? Stick to the script, please. Vote Moo Bloom! Okay, so there we go. There was the first clip about the Moo Bloom. As we know, they are not hostile mobs. They are friendly mobs that actually can befriend bees. And basically, they are a cow with flowers on their back now. Um, no doubt when you kill these, you're probably going to get some flowers. You're probably going to get some leather. And you're probably going to get some meat. I mean... In my opinion, to be fair, I'm not convinced. Uh, I mean, it's one of those. Okay, so um, information that you guys should know about the Moo Bloom. Basically, this is it's not new to Minecraft. If you look at Minecraft as um, a game in whole. So basically, Minecraft Earth, another version of Minecraft. This is actually where the Moo Bloom is originated from. So, um... I don't know, maybe they're actually not coming up with new mobs, maybe they're just trying to like intertwine all like versions of the game together, if that makes sense, do you know what I'm trying to say? So um, again, will I be voting for the Moo Bloom? I'm not so sure, I mean, it's not the greatest of mobs, flowers on the back of a cow, yellow cow, I mean it looks alright, it's okay the fact that it's not a hostile mob, but... I mean, it doesn't really bring anything to the game. So, for that reason, I'm out. Okay, so basically, we're going to get onto the Ice O Lodger. Basically, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but uh, it's either Ice Lodger or Ice O Lodger. Now, you'll see in the video that I play, he pronounces it a little bit weird, but he does have an accent. So, um, yeah, here's the clip for the Ice Lodger, and then we can uh, have a little discussion about this guy. <laughs> Why do we have to record these videos on an actual mountain? They are animated. The Isologer is a new illager that lives on mountain tops. It's a hostile mob that attacks you with clouds of flying ice. You did pack the supplies we need to survive the night up here. Right, Jens? If you want the Isologer in Minecraft, vote for it during this year's Minecraft Live livestream. Unbelievable! Did you at least pack the snacks? <laughs> So from the clip, um, you don't really get a lot of information, but um, we can tell that this guy is a actual hostile mob. Now, um, I don't know if you've seen my other video on this. Basically, in this uh, resource pack and um, like thing that I've got on now that allows you to get these mobs in the game, um, he will actually do that attack. So we'll put some ice above your head. I'm not going to do it now, um, purely for the fact I just can't be bothered at the, at the moment. But yeah, it's just a little bit of ice above the head. Not um, this, this of course, this uh, resource pack and behavior pack isn't exact. Um, so yeah, am I going to be voting for the ice lodger? Now here's the thing, guys. Um, this guy he originated in, I believe, 
I don't think it's Minecraft Earth. One sec, let me just have a look. He's from Minecraft Dungeons, okay? So he is already in the Minecraft saga, if, if we call it a saga, the Minecraft like game. Um, again, kind of fits my theory of they're bringing mobs from other devices um, and like trying to merge up Minecraft. So, Ice Lodger, is this the one that we should vote for and why should we vote for it? Well, I don't know. If you remember the Phantoms, which, they're, again, they're really annoying. I don't think this is going to be on the same level as the Phantom. Purely for the fact, um, you're probably not always going to be in the snow biomes. And this is like a biome-specific generation kind of mob. Um, I don't know. Probably going to get some enchants from it or something like that. Um, maybe some new... I don't know. Either way, it's a hostile mob. you got to fight it. Not really convinced. However, I'm convinced that this one's going to win, if that makes sense. So, am I going to vote for the Ice Lodger? No, I'm not. But, I, I predict that this one is going to take the limelight on October 3rd and win. Finally, let's get on to the Glow Squid. Yeah, let's watch the video and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more afterwards. Do you ever wish Minecraft's oceans were glowier? Not me. I always wish for world peace. Sure you do. Well, wish no more. Meet the Glow Squid. Wow. wow. What was I meant to say again? Vote for Minecraft. Can't talk. Must admire Glow. Agnes, Jens, tell the viewers about how they can vote for the new mob. <sighs> If you want the Glow Squid in Minecraft, vote for it during the Minecraft Live livestream. But please don't. It's really distracting. Now, in my other video, I was really hyped about the Glow Squid. Like, really hyped. I liked it. We thought it was going to be a new light source. Um, it could be potentially be a new light source still they didn't confirm it but they basically said like i said in my other video um it will be lighting up the the murky depths of the ocean now is that a great thing not really that sure um because unless you can obtain something to make the light i mean that would be great we got two bits of good information there. We know that potentially they could be spawning in warm waters because, of course, we could see the coral reefs at the bottom of the video and, of course, a little bit of kelp as well. And um, we know that their kind of power is going to be some kind of, like, hypnotism, maybe. Like, like they're so good-looking that you can't, like, move. Like, you're just going to be focused on them. Whether that means, um, like, you're not going to be able to move your view. So... If, Say, like, you're here, and I'm moving around, it would still look at them no matter what I do. Like, it, no matter where I move, it's still going to look at them. Like, that kind of thing. I'm not sure. Again, it didn't confirm that we can actually, like, uh, obtain any kind of stuff to make a light source out of it. Which is kind of, uh, I don't know, a bit upsetting. I mean, that would have been, uh, in my opinion, one of the greater features. Because and then it would have actually brought something to the game. Um... I don't know. Should we pick Glow Squid? Like I said, last episode, uh, well, last, last video of this, I was actually really hyped for the Glow Squid. Again, this did make its debut in Minecraft Earth. So all three mobs have actually been in some version of Minecraft before. Okay, so we got a Minecraft Dungeon mob and two Minecraft Earth mobs. I think this is quite important information as well. Like, con considering the fact that they're not brand new mobs, they're actually just being extracted from other, like, versions of the game. Which, I don't know... I, do, I don't know if I like that or not. I, it's all right. I mean, they could have just like... I think they, what they could have done with these three mobs is brought them in the game anyway. Because I think that all three of them would fit. Truth be told, I think all three of them would fit. And I think they could have brought all three mobs into the game. And made three brand new options for us to pick like actual brand new mobs. That's my opinion, I think. But where does my vote lie for these three mobs? Because, of course, my opinion does not matter. And, yeah, um, it's not going to change anything. But where does my vote lie in regard to these three mobs? My Right, first of all, I'll do my prediction. Where does my prediction lie? Which one do I predict is going to win? And that's, of course, this guy. 
the isologer the isologer or isologer again i think pretty much 100 percent this guy's gonna win where am i gonna vote i think purely for the fact now they didn't tell us whether the squid's hostile or friendly or anything like that but they're not really gonna be able to attack you that much all right so i think i'm still gonna be voting for the squid to be fair um sorry cow sorry ice dude um, yeah, that's that's where I'm going to be uh, putting my vote with the squid team squid all the way again That is basically the end of today's video Please 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 let me know in the comments below which one you are voting for I mean, I think squid is the right one to go for um, That being said that is all I've got time for again. I will catch you on the next one